Are you frustrated with online dating? Confused by all the new apps and fancy dating sites? Do you find yourself choosing the wrong person again and again? Well, studies show that hiring a dating coach can maximize your online dating experience. So no worries, I've got you. And I've created a virtual course called Doing Dating Right. It's a five video series that you can complete at your own pace in your own space, right at home. How to write your online dating bio, pick that perfect picture, and so much more. Want more info? Go to my website at jenniferherbits.com. Again, it's jenniferherbits.com. Good morning, good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hervitz, and I'm your host every single Tuesday and Friday for Just Jen episodes. But today is Be Quiet. You can't start yet. Ay, ay, ay. Today is a Tuesday, and it's a Just Jen and Jim episode. I'm bringing Jim back. Why? Oh, 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 oh. oh, gosh. So, anyway, it's a Doing Relationships Right. It's not supposed to be a Jim. It's just supposed to be me today. But is it? If you're watching, is it? Yes, it is. If you're watching on YouTube, then you can see I have a guest in the house. I'd like to apologize in advance. But if you're not watching and you're listening, and then you can hear that um, I do have my partner. Why did I say partner? My boyfriend. Partner is so it's weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. My boyfriend, Jim, is here today with me, and I'm excited. I'm a little bit amped up. It's, it's, it's exciting for me to have you back. It's been a long time since you've been here. Yes, it has. It's been a while. It's been, I think the last episode we did was last year before COVID. I think there was one during COVID. We did one during COVID? I think. I don't remember. Whatever. Okay. Well, anyway. So we're going to be a little bit more, um, we're going to get a little bit real with you today. Real and authentic and honest. Look at Jim's face. He's like, why am I doing this? So um, yeah, we're going to talk about relationships. And I also wanted to say something today and get you guys ready for this. I don't know if Jim is, is prepared for me to say this. Yes, I am. I'm saying it. This summer, every summer I take a hiatus from the podcast um, from May 25th or the end of May through September 1st when I come back in the fall with my fall season. So this summer, I don't know if my editor knows this yet. Kevin, this is for you too. Um, I've decided this summer to have a summer with Jim Healy. So this summer, Jim is going to be on the show um, every other week. Jim and I are going to be doing an episode about relationships and, um, you know, like a topic about relationships and something fun like that. What do you think, Jim? I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, sorry. You're supposed to say it's great. It's fabululous. It's, it's fabulous. fabulous. Oh, my God. Because we think that um, talking about couples and relationships and that kind of thing is beneficial. We do think that, right? You think that. Oh, yeah, and you're the pro. I'm just here. I'm just cannon fodder. You're what? Cannon fodder. Cannon who? Fodder. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, you know what? No. No, Stop let's using... not even go there. Let's not even go there. Uses, this he's, ring light is just making me look horrific. Okay. You know what? He, t- he uses these big words that are inappropriate. What? No, H- horrific? No what? one knows the word cannon fodder. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Okay, get out your Google. Get out your dictionaries. No one knows it. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about, I don't know if you if you follow me, then you know what's going on with Jim and I. We took a break. Like Rachel, <laughs> You took a break. <laughs> like Rachel and Ross, we were on a break. And if you don't know the Friends um, reference... I was Rachel and he was Ross, and we took a break. We were on a break, Jim. We were on a break. Those are the worst words in the English language. Yes, you should never take a break. But Jim and I have been together for five years. Um, Five years, Jim. Five. Five long, (laughs) long years. (laughs) And some of our times have been grand, great, fabulous, and other times have been difficult. And like a marriage. Less than grand, (laughs) if you will. And, you know, like a marriage, I think that we have ups and downs. And sometimes I think that I have taken a break. Issues? No, (laughs) shut your mouth. Anyway, so yeah, so here's the thing. We're going to talk about our struggles. And we're going to talk about why we took a break, why I took a break, why I decided to break up with Jim, and how he's back here. Because she's mean. Okay, I, okay. we're not, that's not, the, that's not the plan. Oh, that's not, that's not, it's that's not, not constructive. Plan. That's not That's an NPC. So we have something non-productive called comment. NPCs. Non-productive comment. Non-productive comments. And that was a non-productive comment, James. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is, this is going off the rails. I thought this was going to be a little bit more grown up and. Polished. Polished. But professional. Clearly, clearly that's not how this is going to go. Okay. So, um. <laughs> There are reasons why Jim and I broke up. 
why I broke up with you. Can I say I broke up with you? Now that I'm cats out of the bag? You're the dumper. I'm the dumpy. I broke up with Jim for... Uh, I'm very difficult to deal with, apparently. No, you're not. You're not difficult. We we had some issues. And I'm going to tell you the thing. It's We're, we're going to be honest about... <laughs> You can't, no one can see you. No one watches YouTube. Watch the YouTube. Just so you know, no one. The YouTube is worth watching. The YouTube will have signals that you don't see that you, unless you are watching. <laughs> oh my God. Actually don't. I don't want anybody to watch them. I'm just gross. Okay. Anyways, can you stop, Jim? Oh, this is not going well. Let's get some tidbits of information here. So we have different communication styles. Oh, look at, <laughs> we have different communication styles and um, we, we needed to, so this is my point of this whole thing. Even coaches need coaching. Even coaches need coaching. So as a dating and relationship coach, I have many clients come through my office that I have coached beautifully. I think I'm a, I think I'm a good coach, don't you? I think you're an excellent coach, yes. Oh, thank you. I am you're a good coach. You're very good at telling people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it to tell people what to do. And I think that I have good, good advice. But first, this is my, my, favorite, my favorite cliche. The shoemaker's shoes, no, starting over. The shoemaker's children go without shoes. Do you know that one? That's worse than cannon fodder. Okay. The point is, is that while I'm a great coach, I have a very difficult time with my own relationship. And I think- Especially with me. <laughs> and I think that that's normal. I think that it's difficult to coach your own person, being me. And I know what I should be doing, and I know what we should be doing, but I think that it's difficult. So Jim and I are, we are in the process of seeing a coach, of seeing a coach, a coach. Yeah. Relationship coach. And I can't tell you who it is because I don't want anyone to get mad that I've chosen. It's Jennifer Herbert. <laughs> That's who it is. <laughs> that I've chosen someone other than the person that I, we've chosen. But the person that we've chosen is a very good friend of mine. So, you know, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe. Anyway. Maybe that's not a good idea. Mm. It doesn't matter. So even coaches need coaching. And we are. And everybody has their, sh their shit. Yeah, everybody has their shit. But our shit was a, is, is, is really we have a hard time communicating. Yes. And the reason is... That's true. <laughs> but this is the reason. We come from very different backgrounds. I come from a very random household, if you don't know what family paradigms are. I come from a very random household, random open. And Jim comes from a very closed... Rural household. <laughs> from a farm. He comes from a farm with four people and a pig. <laughs> there was and no pig. You had horses. We had horses. But you had no, no one else, just horses. They had two horses that we boarded. Whatever. And I can't. Uh, it wasn't like it was a gentleman's farm. It wasn't like a. We're not even talking about the farm right now. Anyway, see how I interrupt him? I interrupt him quite often. Yes. That's not right. You shouldn't do that, right, Jim? That's correct. <laughs> so the point is, I'm very reactive. You don't say. And I go from zero to 60 very quickly, right? That's true. So I'm hold the point of this podcast is we are holding ourselves accountable for the for things. For our shit. For our shit. And it's very important that we can both do that. We do that well. Yes, I agree. No, you don't. You don't. Tell the truth. You don't hold yourself accountable for your shit. No, you don't. And see. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I do. I hold myself accountable all the time. I'm always like, I hold myself accountable. When do you do? When do you? Whenever I mess up, which is very, very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> this is going nowhere. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying, people? Are you watching the video? Because I'm telling you right now that he is not holding himself accountable. What I'm saying is. Blink twice if you're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is, Jim, come on. What? You know, do it like I told you. Say what I told you to say. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. We do laugh a lot. We do laugh. That's why we're, we do really laugh a and lot. And you're my person. Aw. Mm. We're so, such a, <laughs> almost said the bad word. Um, okay, so we do not, we, we do not have the same communication No, styles. yeah, we're definitely different in communication styles. And also. You like to yell. No, I'm not a yeller. I'm not. I'm not. I, I like to I'm yell, kidding. but I know I do. I am a, I'm not a yeller. You get very big and very animated. Only with you. And Because you're so fucking annoying. And I shut down. <laughs> and he, 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 yes, you just shut down like a, <laughs> like, like a turtle. Twiggy in Buck Rogers, <laughs> like when his power ran out. That's what me. does that even mean? Forget or R2-D2 when he shut yeah, himself. Yeah, and you stonewall. You do a lot I of stonewall. I do stonewall, yes. he, 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 he just stonewalls. He yes. gives me the silent trim and he, yeah. he walks out. I'm leaving. I can't take Not this Stonewall shit. Jackson. We can't say that, but I do stonewall. What is that? <laughs> it was Civil War, Jen. I don't know who that is. Are you going to get me in trouble right now? I hope not. <laughs> oh, my God. Do, do, just anyway. do your thing. So um, so we do. So we definitely, we fight. We, so we know that we, we're working on that, though. 
Yes. You're not leaving anymore. You're not storming out of the house. I don't storm yes, out of the house. Yes, you do. You do. I'm leaving. I'm not going to take your shit. And you, yes, you do. And you storm out and you slam the door. That's not acceptable. Sometimes I need a little space. Well, then just say that. So now we're working on that where you're going to say what? I need a little space. No, you're going to say, yes. But then you're, first you're going to say, Jennifer. I'd like to table this discussion yes. to a later date. <laughs> yes. And we're like gonna... 30 years from now. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> Why not? But we're going to make... No, I just told you, Jim, what to say. <laughs> See, he's not coachable. We are he's, working. He's I'm not uncoach- coachable. I'm uncoachable. He's uncoachable. <laughs> Absolutely uncoachable and uncoachable. He's incorrigible. Right. And that's what I said. Inco- you said uncoachable. I'm tired, Jim. Incorrigible. It's been a long day for Jennifer. Uncor- she had her hair did today. I get my hair done today. See, it? you should really be watching YouTube. It is really shiny. It is fabulous. 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 Anyway. So we also have problems with resolving conflict. Let's be honest. I don't have a problem resolving conflict. <laughs> you have a problem. Let's tell everyone because you know what? I think you might be a little. You have a um, touch of a touch of the Aspergers. <laughs> you're a little bit. You have a touch on the spectrum. I collect Aspies, just so you know. He's a touch on. Are you offended? His IQ really. is really high, and he's got a little touch of the. Spectrumitis. Spectrumitis. And I'm thinking that maybe you like to be right all the time. I do like to be right. I like to be factually correct. Facts are big in my world. Yes, they are. Ugh. And feelings aren't facts. And that's where I struggle. Do you believe that? Wait, let's hear that again. What? Feelings aren't facts. And that's where I struggle. Okay. Jim feels like feelings are aren't. not facts. But they're my feelings, people. Do you hear what I'm saying? I feel well, as- what I'm saying. But if I feel a certain way, that's the way I feel. And you can't say that I don't feel a certain way. Yes, but I argue it like a fact. Yes. Do you remember that time we were in Target and I saw the Santa Claus climbing? Look, look away. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I also, banking is inappropriate, but I just did. I brought up something from three and a half years ago. I think it's almost five years ago. <laughs> See, Actually, right, four. Yeah. It's like almost four years ago. I feel like most of my colleagues right now could take this video and have a real field day with it. They could stitch it. Yes. Well, this may cost you clients in the end. No, it's not. It's going to get me clients because I'm, I'm that good. Okay. She is. I've. She's good. I just can't coach you. No, I'm uncoachable. No, you're just cute. Anyway, so we fight. We fight differently. Okay. Let's just put it that way. And oh, look what I wrote. I actually took notes. I took notes. She took very well. excellent I took notes. Excellent notes. And but it was a lot. Mm. And I'm struggling yeah. tonight. So, anyways, the point is, I broke up with them because I didn't think we would resolve conflict. I thought that we clearly came from different backgrounds. Our communication styles sucked. And also we love differently. I'm sorry, Jim, but we do. I love big. I love big. I love with my whole heart. And I, I love so big. Don't I, honey? Don't I love you so big? And you don't love me half as big as I love I you. I love you small. You love small. You love like not big enough, okay? I just... And you don't, you, you're an Aspie. I feel like you're totally on the spectrum. We should have you diagnosed. And you also... What in the actual <laughs> fuck... And you also don't, honey, you don't use your words. Again, segue into attachment style, not attachment, love languages. We have different love languages. He does not use his words, but he's getting better. You know that I like you. See, you can't do that. You can't just say, he's, that's what he says to me. I don't know why I have to tell you that I love you. You know that I love you. You say that's all I ever say. That's yeah. all he ever says is I love you. Yeah, that's not true. It's not true now, but in the beginning, I was very insecure. I had an anxious attachment style. This is true. Because you did not use your words. You have to use your I words. I need to use my words better, yes. Yes, you're doing better. But he's a very, his attachment style is acts of kindness and gifts of, no, acts of kindness and. I don't know. Yes, acts of kindness. Like I will come home and my, and my light, do you see my new light? You can't see it, but my new light will be, will be put in or my bathroom tile will be fixed or he makes a cheesecake. I mean, what kind of guy makes a cheesecake? And then. I think a good guy makes a cheesecake. That's my point, Jim. I'm saying nice things about you. A guy you want to have relations with oh, makes Jesus a cheesecake. Christ. Okay, honey, we're not. What? That's the only reason I'm with you is because the sex is good. Let's be honest. <laughs> if co-parenting during a pandemic taught us anything, it's that you need proof your kids are safe. With alcohol abuse on the rise, many co-parents are turning to the no-nonsense system committed to providing proof, protection, and peace of mind. Soberlink's alcohol monitoring system is the most convenient, reliable, and reasonable way for a parent to provide evidence that they are not drinking during parenting time. Soberlink's real-time alerts make it easy to negotiate with any party. Judges rest assured that the child is safe, attorneys get court admissible evidence of sobriety, and both parents have empowerment and peace of mind. Do divorce right 
and trust the experts in remote alcohol monitoring technology to keep your kids safe, happy, and well-adjusted. To download the guide, Five Non-Negotiables for Embracing a New Normal that I developed with Soberlink, visit www.soberlink.com backslash DRR. Okay. Our attachment styles are different. I'm anxious, or I was, and not more. Now I'm secure because of all the work I've done on myself. That's not entirely true. <laughs> Jim, I didn't, what did I tell you? You've done a lot of work, yes. And now you're avoidant. Oh, I'm avoiding this like the plague. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. He feels, avoidance, feel attacked, hates conflict, overwhelmed easily, difficulty accessing or expressing feelings and naming your feelings, which makes it very difficult to comfort their partner. You don't know how to comfort me. What do you do? When I say I'm upset, you say what? I pat you on the head and no. say, they're there. No, nobody they're is. There. He's toxically positive. He is, his toxic positivity is- I don't know is, if that's true. Yeah, no, it is. Okay. Let me explain Let's, to you again. We can discuss it. It's okay. We're going to fight here on the podcast. Okay, just that's so what you know, we're doing here. Toxic positivity. Did you watch my, my, my thing on it? Did you watch my reel? Yes. Did you read everything I, I sent you? all of your reels. Did you read all of the stuff I sent you on toxic positivity? She sends a lot of stuff, folks. I like to teach. I like to coach us. And I sent him lots of things on toxic positive. I think there's a difference. No, there's, there's a not. level of there's a level of of positivity at which point it becomes toxic. Okay, opinion. so give examples. I suck at examples, but like you know, like the a lot of the buzzwords and phrases that were in that thing, you know, like oh, it'll be okay. No, no, that's you not know, toxic. No, like toxic positive. Let me. I'm sorry to interrupt you. <sighs> I'm sorry. That was rude of me. I'm holding myself accountable. Go ahead, honey. No, go ahead. Oh, someone's calling me. Getting a phone call during the podcast. Sorry. Let's just ignore that. Let's. Okay. Anyway. Someone didn't get the memo. No. Um. Any. No. No. But like, it's like when 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 I get divorced, or no. Let's. I'll give a really drastic one. Let's say I lost a family member, and you said something like, "Um, it's it's." It could better. have been worse. It could have been two of them. No. God. No. No. Like. No. Like. You know what? At least he's 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 better off now because he's not hurting or he's with the angels or, um, well, I would never say that. Well, of course you wouldn't, but that's toxic. That's like trying to make a, trying to make a situation that's, that's dire or is a, something trying to make it positive when it shouldn't, you don't, you're allowed to sit in your negativity. Of like it's okay to be, to be hurt. It's okay to be hurting and it's okay to feel of badly. Course. You don't have to make me happy all the time. I don't have to feel happy all the time. I don't like when you're sad. Oh, he doesn't like what I'm sad. But you know what? Sometimes I'm going to be, I have highs and lows. I'm a female. We have highs and lows. No, we do. But you don't. You're always fucking happy. It's so annoying. I'm not always happy. You're like, oh my God, get out of bed. Let's go. It's so sunny out. No, I don't want to be. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to be outside, okay? I don't want it. <laughs> no. Okay? Well, I do try to look at the bright side of things. Of everything. Not of everything. Everything, Jim. And it's okay to have a, you know. It's... You know like when someone steals my shit off of Instagram? Like literally steals my shit, my content. And you're like, I, well, it could have been more or it's not, it's not so bad. Like, no, I wish death on them. Oh, don't wish death on anyone. Oh, my I, I wish death. I'm just saying like, you know, it's like, I, I'm allowed to, oh, this is going, this is not the one. What do we have next? No, you can finish It's fine. I'm just, I just feel like. You can finish your point on toxic positivity. I, feel, I like, feel that I am somewhat positive, but like, I don't, I do that more as an encouragement thing than a. You know, trying. I feel to be, like you're a fixer. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to make it better, but like but I, don't I don't want you to. I'm not sitting there, you know, belittling your feelings. Yeah, yeah, I feel that way. I feel like you, you may are. feel that way, but I don't really. Well, I, I don't. That's how I feel. Okay. That's, look, that's what. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. Okay, next. Uh, see what I'm saying? It's like impossible. We clearly need more coaching. Oh, I can't. And we're doing fine here. It's you know, I mean. Oh. You didn't talk about what an anxious attachment style is. Oh, yeah. I got that. I used to have that. You know. Go ahead. You're not know. used to. Still do. No, I don't. You don't think that you no, I'm definitely lack more... of trust in relationships? No. Have intense emotions? Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. that's just being mm-hmm. anxious in general. I'm, I have anxiety, but I definitely have more or secure. become easily overwhelmed by your, by your no, uh, emotions? No, no, no. No. That's, no. And that's what you have here. Yeah, no, honey, but that's not, I did. That used to be me, but now I'm, I'm more avoidant. You sent this to me two days ago. <laughs> In two days, she has healed herself. That's what, great, that's what a great coach she is. In two days, Jennifer Hurwitz has healed herself using the Jennifer Hurwitz method. 
hire her now as your dating understand, coach. You understand, you're not healed. <laughs> it's not about being healing. It's your attachment style. You're dip- okay, just keep going. <laughs> what? Okay. You question the relationship and yeah, I don't. what and what if that's it- you. You're anxious now. We flipped. Like since I broke up with you, you're definitely more anxious. You don't really know what this relationship is. Well, it's because you keep dumping me. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm more <laughs> avoidant. Like I can't really stand you being around anymore. Wow. Okay. Then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nobody you see what I'm saying? Scene. And scene two. No, that's what I'm saying. Like it they, it changes. That's why I don't really uh, well, keep going. What's next? We're gonna skip the what ifing? Yeah. There's always something better out there. Oh yeah, that's yeah. another reason I broke up what with you. What if I what if I never get through to me? Yeah. What so I went through that whole what if stage. I'm talking. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I went through that what if stage. Like I was like, what if he never changes? What if I never change? What if we never get better? What if this relationship never, you know, if it never like resolves? What if? What if there's someone better out there? What if there's someone better out there? I really did. I was like, you know what? There's no one better out there. There might be, Jim. No, there's no one that's on my level. Well, I really love you, but you know. That's as good as you, as good as me to you. Oh, that's a lot. There's probably some. Well, I'm just saying, like, I that's how I that's why I was thinking to myself, like, self, maybe there is. And then I watched The Bachelor and I the watched The Bachelor is fake. I know, but I love it. It's fake. I know, but I feel like there's like all these the expectations. I know it's fake, but I feel like why don't I have that? Do you think Clayton is paying for those dates? <laughs> Toronto. And going to Toronto? Toronto no. with Clayton. He is not paying for that but shit. I love, ABC is. I just feel like you should be doing those things for me. I want a rose. I don't work for ABC. Honey, I don't have Bob Iger money. I know, but I just, just don't. But you see what I'm saying? Like you get caught up in the expectations of what your life should be. And also like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> High maintenance. <laughs> what else? What else did I write? Compared oh, that I felt exhausted and defeated. I felt exhausted. I was just She so does tired. say she's exhausted all the but time. But I think that's my autoimmune disease. I think it's me. <laughs> I think you're exhausting, Jim. You're really a lot. I'm a lot. Have you met you? <laughs> Have you met you? It's a lot. It's our relationship is a lot of there's you. A, it's a there, lot of you. There's a lot. Oh my gosh. Keep and the pandemic has really It really did take it a toll on us. It has really been two years of shit. It really has, honey. We I think we, we've been okay. You've been locked in your little nest. I like my nest. I think I have a little bit of social anxiety. I yes. Got, I think coming out of the nest. Although you had a good day today. Uh, at the Hair salon. Well, yes, honey. I'm not some kind of like shut in. You're close. Oh, you guys. Man. She's close to a shut in. She. There were. T- it was touch and go. It was touch and go there for a while, Jenny. I mean, the DoorDasher. There's 15 different DoorDashers that know you by name. They're like, the oh, UPS guy? hello, Jennifer. I see that you've ordered your lunch okay, again you know from what? Midwood Smokehouse. Just so you know, the the UPS guy today was like, oh, you're outside. Exactly. I literally met him at the end of the driveway. He was like. I dropped, I've been dropping your boxes off here for like two years. I've never yes. seen you. There's a cardboard pile <laughs> in her garage that is to the roof. Is this what is it's it? Two confessions? The, Let's go. It is to the I don't ceiling. I my listeners are wondering what's wrong with me. Keep going. There is a metric ton of cardboard okay. in your garage. I recycle. You do, but it's. Can we, can we move on? We can't. So there we go. So what's now, next? now after agreeing to do the work. Oh, you're not okay. supposed to. Do, no, 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 no. no. <clears throat> oh, this is the stuff we're doing now. Yes. We're See, doing, we're being good. We're doing lots of things We're now. communicating. We have a, oh, the safe space. Oh, so then when I when we were getting back together and I said to you, Jim, I said, you have to give me a safe space so that I can tell you how I feel. Right? And what did you say? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jim. I said, okay. You said, okay, and you of did. Of course I said, okay. And then you gave me a safe space and we talked yes. and you were not happy. No. No, you were not because you were not happy at all about the break up. No. So why'd you take me back? Because I'll never find another one like you. Oh, no, really. Because I'll never find anyone like you. Honey, no, let's be real. That's real. Okay, but really. You're special. Oh, thanks, baby. And I, you know, I, I, I love our connection and I think you're an amazing woman and, you know. I think we can fix our issues. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Even coaches no. need coaching. That's the point here. Yes. Even coaches need coaching. We've bared our souls on this thing today. This is I this know. is not going to go well. Can I eat my dinner? I feel now? that we're going to be judged. Feel... So what? I don't care. I Look, don't... It, I got news for you. I'm a coach and I, I, I do don't my like job. being judged. You'll probably be judged, but you know what? It's okay. All your girlfriends are going to be like, you know what? How do you do it? How do you put up with it? <laughs> what do you mean? People say that all the time about me. They can't believe no, it. They're going to say, how, how, do they put up, how do you put up with me? What do you mean? Why? 
You're such a good guy, honey. I'm incorrigible. Well, you are. You're so... Or uncorrigible. If you... Oh, shut up. You're making fun of me. <laughs> I'm starving. I need to eat dinner. So anyway... Yes, you do need to eat dinner. Um, let's talk about one more thing about Is this, this summer. Is this a train wreck? About this yes. summer. And I wasn't... When you... When you... You know, basically, we had an argument. I was exhausted at the time. Legitimately exhausted from lots of you're... travel. And... Um, and your dad And um, yeah. So I just wasn't in the mood to fight for us like I normally would. And I was just like whatever and then and also and I, then pissed off and well, yeah. you know so and also i think we have a, a, the the real the big overhanging is that the word yeah is that i'm starting a new phase of my life yes in a couple months my my babies are both going to college yes and i don't you'll be an empty nester i'll be an empty nest empty nester and you have a 14 year old i'll be a full nester full nester and everybody knows that we don't blend and um we've been together five years but our we do not blend families. So we're kind of coming up against uh The chickens are coming home to roost. No, honey, that's not the that's not the cliche. No, we're coming up against a <laughs> an impasse. If we're coming up against a, a fork in the road where I can either go one way and, and start a new chapter in my life, sans Jim, or I can go down the other way and, and continue my life with and Jim. Languish here in Charlotte, and North stay, Carolina. Stay here in Charlotte and um, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. So it's hard. And I think that that will be what we'll be talking about this summer um, on the podcast. Again and again. And, and again. again. And, and we'll see what happens. And you guys will take our journey with us if you'd like to come along. We'll be doing that this summer. And that'll be it. Doing relationships right. We'll see if it's right or wrong. I feel like we're in Big Brother or something. <laughs> Why? It doesn't this have like the Big Brother vibe? I don't ever seen Big Brother. Or... Love is Blind or any of those no, stupid no, the, shows. No, no, shut up. I love that. I love love. <sighs> love is Blind. They're in pods. They don't even see each other. Yes, but then eventually they do, don't they? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, we got to go watch our shows. This is this is part of our problem. Yes. We love TV. Different TV, but no, TV No, 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 no. We <laughs> love all the same shows. Mrs. Maisel, it's back. We watched it. Oh, that's right. There's, there's we liked one? it. We liked yeah. it. Yeah. It didn't jump the shark yet. So, not yet. Not yet. Anywho, that's it. So, um, uh, yeah, look at that. We're done. Are we going to talk about Book of Boba Fett or anything? No. no? Like good stuff? No. Anyway. Forget it. I'm no, st- we would never talk about that. <clears throat> I don't no. want to. I've derailed your podcast enough. It's okay. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart for ruining this. It was good. This podcast. I think we did good. I think we, we shared our struggles and, and, and it was very um, relatable. And um, yes. Anything else? What coaches else? Coaches need coaching. Coaches need coaching. And if you need coaching for basically free and you don't want to work with me one-on-one, I have my five, my Doing Dating Right five video course is available right now um, for the bottom- Super low price. Super low. The bottom basement bargain price of $49.99. Yeah, it's five videos for 50 bucks. I can't believe I'm doing it. But I am because I love you all. So uh, you can get that on my website, jenniferherbits.com, and you can find me on Instagram at Doing Relationships Right. Follow me there. Follow me on Pinterest and Twitter and everywhere else. And that's it. And oh, and join my Facebook group. Please, please, please. It's really fun, Doing Relationships Right. It's a private Facebook group, and it's fun, and we chit-chat, and we talk, and we do all kinds of fun stuff. So that's that. And everybody have a fabulous day. Jim, thank you for being here to me. With You're me today. welcome. I love you. I love you too. We're going to be fine, everybody. We're going to be just fine. We're going to make this work. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to... We're going to do it. You're my person. I love you, baby. We're going to do relationships right. That's all there is to it. Happy yes. Tuesday. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. Do something fun for yourselves. And um, I don't know. That's it. Peace, love, and so much truth, y'all. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, Jim. Bye. Bye.